All right, small update time. I think I'm going to do do the whole upload this time as an edit as I go along. All right, this video together as I go along with this build. So it's been about a day or so since I uh, since I did my original post. I took a day off because it was cold. It's not really warm outside still, but it's just warm enough inside the shed to where I can spray paint this thing and then take it inside and let it fully dry. So I got a little bit done so far. I had some. I've, this is how thick the sides are going to be on this particular model. But um, this thing is going to take a long time to actually get, put all the sides on, be, due due to the cur due to the curved of his body and whatnot. I have to put a heap ton of little hashes, little cut marks like this, into the sides to uh, get the to get him, to get them to form to the uh, contours of his body. So it's going to take me about 15 minutes alone just to hash out all these little cut lines just for one side of his body right here. And then once all that is done, then I just got to basically recut this whole piece out for the back end. Then just hot glue it all together, go into the, uh, go into the uh, shed, spray paint matte black. And then as this thing dries, Trump somehow Google search and find a, a decent Aku face for for this model. And then I'll go on for the next part, which I believe is making a base and an RC car for it. So I'll come back when I see fit. Well, it's time to chime in again. And I was right. This here took around 15 to 20 minutes to etch out every single little hash mark. This little right, this little thing right here just makes me wish I had a uh, had a laser machine because it's such a grueling, not like grueling. It's just it's so monotonous trying to cut all these little hash marks. This thing is like tw this thing is like 30 something inches long. And as you can tell, I have each hash mark quite, quite fair, quite uh, close to each other. So yeah, just, 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 just cut, just, just, uh, yeah, like I said, this whole area right here took around 15 to 20 minutes just to cut out and hash out. It took forever. Now I spent another 15 to 20 minutes doing the same process all over again for this side. And then cut out the, uh, the little back side. All right, so I got the structure built. It is capable of standing up, standing up on itself now. I mean, by its own now. And now I just got spray paint it black. And I'm already noticing a little. I'm already noticing ahead of time that there are a few little areas like this area right here that I'm actually going to do a full 3D form on when I actually build a full size model because it doesn't really look right. And with the and with the horns on here, I'm actually probably gonna end up moving the horns towards the middle of the towards the middle of the uh, of the of the model when it's full size. That way, so it'll look more accurate. Or I might keep it towards the front like it is right now, but it depends on how the face looks. So for right now, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go out to the shed, spray paint this thing, and then uh, see what happens. All right, so I'm in the shed. As you can tell, the spray paint is not really adhering well. I am within the temperature limits of, uh, of 50 degrees. It's currently 62 or so inside the shed, but the paint's running a little bit. So I'm hoping just a secondary spray will uh, will fix will uh, remove this runny look. And I also went and added uh, some extra little uh, some uh, extra little extensions here, so that way, so it actually looks more correct. Now I'm going to do something about this because this does look weird, but um, I'm hoping with the I'm hoping with the finalized build, with these with these uh, horns and whatnot being centered towards the middle, it will look better. So I'll come back when I see fit. All right, I got my coup finally painted out. I'm going to go through Chrome. I mean not Chrome, but Google. See if I can find a good capture of his face and use that then actually plop a face onto this one. So as you can tell it's black, but there are some imperfections as you can tell. They're very slight. My can't well actually you can see it right there. But um 
this is but like I said, this is my uh, this is my uh, small scale build to figure out how I'm going to build this thing. So I'm okay with the imperfections. And of course, on the back side here, I've actually learned a little bit from spray from the last bit of spray painting I did, and it looks a lot more cleaner on this side. So I'm going to take what I've learned and put that into uh, put that into uh, work on the uh, full scale when it when it comes to time. And just like in the video I just uploaded, this is it finally finished. And the video I just uploaded was the uh, build log.